Jesus, I am overjoyed to meet you face to face. You've been getting quite a name all around the place. Healing Luke Kelly, Kelly of the Dubliners, a hairy Herod, if ever there was one, rehearses his big number as Jesus Christ is brought before him. The rousing, jeering number, so you're the king of the Jews. So if you are the Christ, you're the great Jesus Christ. Proof to me that you're divine. Change my water into wine. That's all you need do, and I'll know it's all true. Come on, king of the Jews. It's day three on the stage of the Gaiety Theatre last week. The quadraphonic sound has not yet been installed. Only the rhythm section of the 31-piece well, orchestra not? is in rehearsal with the no, cast. Herod, Jesus, Mary Magdalene, assorted apostles and Pharisees, none are in costume yet. Phil Coulter, the musical director, is still at the stage where he's trying to pull cast and orchestra together. Alan Simpson, who directs the whole production, still working out moves for dancers and singers. A certain amount of shambles still has to be sorted out. Could you walk on just and stand there? Look, that'd be lovely. Yeah. 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 And that bunch, there will yeah. be a mic there already. Right. So if that, a few bunch that are here, yeah. ha, that half gear themselves to that mic, sing towards that mic. Yeah. Right? Right. So you are the Christ, you're the great Jesus Christ. Prove to me that you're no fool Walk across my swimming With a cast of more than 30, it's not always possible even to rehearse on the stage itself. In odd corners of the theatre, in tea rooms, the green room, the foyer, groups get together to iron out problems. Luke Kelly and Joe McCarthy, who takes over Herod's role next week, work on their dance routine off stage. I only ask things I'd ask any superstar. What is it that you have got to put you where you are? Whoa, whoa, I am waiting. Yes, I'm a captain fan. I'm dying to be sure that you are not just any man. So if you were the Christ, yes, the great Jesus Christ, you were with his bread. You can do it on your head or something goes wrong. <laughs> Why do you take so long? Come on, king of the Jews. Hey, hey! are you scared of me, Christ? Mr. Wonderful Christ? You're a joke! You're not the Lord. You're nothing but a fraud. Take him away. He's got nothing, nothing to say. Oh, sorry. Get out, you king of the... Get out, you king of the Jews! Get out, you king of the Jews! Get out of my life! As yet, the full lighting hasn't been rigged, and the cast seems restricted because of scaffolding and rostra. There's little enough room to move. Well, I cluttered the stage, so <laughs> if it's cluttered, too much, that's my responsibility. No, um, of course, we are accommodating the orchestra on the stage, uh, and that takes up a lot of room uh, at the back of the stage. The pit here in the gaiety is much too small for our orchestra of 30 or whatever it is. You'll have something like 60-odd people on the stage then Including when you've got the, the full uh, complement yeah, on. Yeah. Is that not an awful lot for what in actual fact is quite a small stage. Well, that's for you to say when you've seen the show. I, what do you feel I, yourself? I don't no. think it's... No, I don't. It no. can be done. Actually, it's... Uh, once the numbers in this are dictated by certain factors, uh, some of them biblical and some of them practical. The biblical one is you've got to have 12 apostles because convent ladies will count, you see. And so that starts. You know, you've got three principal apostles who are soloists so that you have to have nine other men. You've then, we, then you've got a soul group of three ladies, who, uh, like the uh, Irish Supremes, yes. and Bushnell's crowd, and yes. that, that's three. That's three ladies. Uh, then we have four choir ladies, who are, are um, straight singers, uh, and then we have two dancers, so that... That fills it up. That fills our ladies. Yes. Now, then, 
The rest are soloists. Right. If, if, if I could put this to you, some of your cast have come from show bands, some have come from ballad groups. Are you having difficulty in turning them into actors or into song and dance men? Well, none at all, actually. I think it's, it's hard. I've done a lot of the other way around, trying to make actors sing. And I think it's easier to make singers act, because uh, particularly pop singers act quite a lot anyway yes. when they're singing. And if you get them used to uh, a certain amount of discipline in movement, I mean, sometimes they jump around at will, and you can't always have that, as you say, if the stage is somewhat cluttered. But are they accepting the discipline of very the restrictions well, here? Well, of course, I was really put through the hoop last year by the Dubliner show. That's so you know all about <laughs> Luke and the rest of them. Alan, isn't, is there something incongruous about the whole show, about a rock Jesus for an audience in Ireland? Well, uh, uh, no, I don't think, absolutely not. I mean, for the last, since 1955, the standard music of anybody who is now under 40 at least let's not go into this too deeply <laughs> but anybody shall we say under 40 now their standard music that they regard as their music is pop or rock rather right and uh, of the generation before that their standard music was well wh whatever guno if you like mm. you see mm. uh, and Therefore, all through the ages, religious music has been uh, the music of the of time. The age. Yeah. You are doing Judas that. is played by Cullum Wilkinson, musician and rock singer, appearing in a stage production for the first time. Luke Kelly says he's a natural. But Luke has his own problems. You... I'm terrified out of my life. Why, why is this? Uh, first of all, I don't know my words. <laughs> and secondly, I don't know where my feet are. I'm supposed to dance in this. You're only telling the truth. <laughs> I know that, that uh, you do dance in it. Is this proving any way difficult to you? Because you're not generally knows, known as a twinkle toes, That's are you? That's true, yeah. The, the only dance I ever learned was the, was the, the slow... The, what, what do you remember the slow was? The lurch. The lurch, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's a bit the different, isn't it? You find it? You find a certain difficulty, but it'll be all right on the night, I presume. Well, I hope so, yeah. Is it true that you're playing Herod as a queer? Uh, a pig's ear, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, there'll be a touch of that. There'll be a touch of camp in it because um, I don't, I can't imagine myself trying to play a queer in that in that, in that way. You know, <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I, I don't think I'd ever be able to manage that. <laughs> Colum, uh, you don't want to act as well, dancing and singing <laughs> and acting too. It must be just a Colum, as as Judas. This, I think, is a, is your first part in a show of this sort. How do you feel about it? Oh, it's uh, for me. It's a new thing to do this. For, you know, doing cabaret trick around town and so uh, it depicts Judas the whole thing as being a very uh, sort of sympathetic person it's not the real evil character that the catechism and all this he's the so good bad guy he's yeah he's a he, he seems to be an instrument of our Lord's mm. will sort of in this and he's played very sort of aggressively and let uh, me ask you both this is there in, this is an entertainment mm. Luke uh, and Colm, mm -hmm. is there any religious feeling in it at all, or is it pure entertainment? Does uh, it move you, or should it move oh, you? Oh yeah. I think I think oh, if you're not fantastic. moved by this show, then there's something lacking in your in your sense of Christianity. This is this is the most. It's not a waste of time. Uh, yeah, this 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 is the most uh, reaffirming show. Yeah, fabulous. That I've ever seen. I didn't I didn't believe before I before yeah. I came into rehearsal. I, you see, I didn't bother reading the script or listening to the record because I didn't want to be influenced by that. But I never expected to, to, to have the profundity that it has. It's Phil Coulter, the man in the Mickey Mouse shirt, is a calm disciplinarian, musician, eminently successful songwriter and arranger. He's an Ulsterman who sets high professional standards for himself and for his musicians. Like Alan Simpson, he shows a great deal of patience in rehearsal. But woe betide those who mess about or don't keep time and tempo. Can we go from... Just four bars before you're I'm amazed at men like you, Tom. Or in fact, we'll take it from there. Take it from I'm amazed at men like you, right? Letter E. The cast is scattered with names from the Irish show band scene. Jim McCann is St. Peter. Carol O'Doherty is pilot. And Tony Kenny, now in the British hit parade, is the superstar himself, Jesus Christ. Musically, it's the role suits me very well, I think. And 
the fact that it's about Jesus doesn't really, really overawe me that much because it, it is a musical, and as long as I don't start thinking I'm Jesus or play it being God in a moment. It's, the songs are good, the songs in this particular part are good are very songs. good. You know, the more I hear them, the more I hear the music, the more I'm convinced that it's a, a musical masterpiece. Th this is a great change, obviously, from, from singing with the sands. Is it your first time in a stage production? It is indeed, yes. What difficulties have you found about this? Do you find it difficult to act, for instance? No, because, you see, there isn't any real talking in it. It's all singing, and being a professional singer, of course, you would feel what you're singing, and this makes it easier for you, of course. And then Alan Simpson's direction is a great help indeed. What start to say? Before starting rehearsals, uh, I read, uh, uh, reread the New Testaments, all four of them, uh, or I mean all four of the Gospels, uh, and uh, to make sure that, that the libretto conformed as far as I could see with it. Indeed, indeed it does. So it says so she it, is I mean, rich. If anybody uh, takes it, they, they, there are some very interesting things that, uh, I mean, expansions on the Old Testament, and perhaps the most interesting is the relationship between Judas and Jesus. Judas is a man that is rather glossed over uh, in most denominations in, in, in catechism and, and teaching, and he's not thought much about I mean, we all know that he hanged himself and all mm. that, which, of course, is in the yes. opera. But uh, his actual motivation, uh, an interesting point that I had forgotten, if I ever knew, comes out when he is objecting to Mary Magdalene uh, putting the um, box of alabaster ointment on Christ's feet and hair. And he says it could be sold and uh, given to the poor. And out of that, and I checked this up in the, in the New Testament, I forget which gospel, but he apparently was the sort of treasurer of the disciples and therefore would be concerned with matters like that. Little things like this, and obviously the, the authors have gone in very deeply and they've been very careful uh, not to do anything that, uh, that there isn't a biblical background for. They may expand here and there. Sure. They do. Day four of full rehearsals and day five. Only three days to go before the opening. Somewhere in the background, costumes are being designed and made, sets are being prepared, sound problems sorted out. And on stage, the remorseless discipline of rehearsal. Emma Evangeline Butler from South Carolina plays Mary Magdalene, the only significant female role in the show. Her song, He's Just a Man, should be one of the show stoppers. So it all takes shape, but stripped of its glamour, it looks like very, very hard work. Yeah. Hey! Oh, no. oh. Is that a One for nothing, look. Sorry. One, five. Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! Two! Aren't Sorry. you? Hey, you! Aren't you? Hey! hey. There's a certain amount of unspoken apprehension about how Dublin audiences may receive the show. Is it perhaps irreverent, as far as some of the Irish are concerned, to portray the agony of Christ in terms of rock music, which a lot of, well, let's say the conservative, would dislike anyway as decadent, vulgar, certainly unholy. Noel Pearson, who produces Jesus Christ Superstar, doesn't think so. Yeah, well, strangely enough, that most people who have criticised the show haven't seen the show or haven't even heard the record. I, I have seen the show and I've heard the record so many... To me, anyway, there's absolutely nothing offensive in any way in the show. But obviously you anticipate that there we will do. be over-religious people or there perhaps religious there bigots, if whatever you want to call them, who will object. Yeah, what, what would you say to them? I would, I would just say that's their problem. <laughs> really, you know? there's, there is nothing. Uh, there's nothing in the show that I could see what anybody could object about. You know? 
nothing at all. And we've watched it very carefully, especially coming here, you know. And um, what sort of objections were there to it in by Catholic groups, pressure groups, if you like, in other countries? The record itself has been played on Radio Vatican several times. I think Dean of St. Paul's liked it. Even the clergy here, I think Morgan Costello, who writes for the Evening Herald, wrote about it the other night. Cross Magazine did a survey on it. And they came that 83% of the people they interviewed were in favour of it, which in itself was a, a very strong endorsement for the show here. Artistically, people who are revolted by rock music will presumably be revolted. And if they are, at the same time, if their only idea of Christ is through Guno and such like they'll object they yeah. will object but i mean that is an artistic objection rather than a religious one i would have thought i mean it's just the same as you can have a furious argument uh, about how you should decorate the inside of a church uh, if there's any intelligence left about what christianity is supposed to be they'll examine their consciences yeah. that's yeah. what i think it about. will offend people who want to be offended if people come to be offended they'll be offended all yeah. right but yeah, if you come with an open it. mind and listen to what it's all about mm. and try to hear the lyrics it's absolutely fantastic. To mount a show of this size costs money, but the first two weeks are solidly booked out. Are you likely to become a wealthy man with this show? Is there a lot of money in Jesus Christ Superstar? Well, I don't know whether, what you mean by a wealthy man. I mean, like everybody's... A, a killing. Everybody's, Let's put it like that, no. Well, we'll make a few bob. Everybody has their own interpretations of what a wealthy man is and what a wealthy man is not. Yeah, but let me put it like this to you. You've taken quite a big risk yes, putting the show on. Risk. It's a big money risk. Therefore, the rewards, are, are the winning, are the rewards going to be as good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you think it's shaping up at this stage, or can you tell at this rehearsal, for I think instance? The strange thing that the drummer in this production has been in the Palace production in London since it opened, and he just left the Palace to do this. And he has said that our cast are in a Division 1 in comparison to London cast, and he put the London cast in Division 3 as ability, musical ability. Obviously, we can't compete with the London technical facilities that have floors opening up and ceilings coming down. You but, just have the static stage yeah, but here. Man for man, and musically, we're as good as anything. So it's going to be all right on the night. It's going to be a great show. It's a lively, exciting show. It's been phenomenally successful wherever it's been produced. At this stage in the Irish production, dress rehearsals and opening night seem terrifyingly near to the cast. And ahead, the reaction of audience and critics to weeks of hard work and effort. And that old feeling that out of some chaos will grow a streamlined show and that everything will be all right on the night.